this out. This is Wayne here. Um, we've got this carbide burr, and it's carbide on the end, and then that's brazed onto uh, some other type of alloy to make it a little, a little bit stronger here. Um, but what's happened is, is this has got into aluminum, and even on the lower setting, it still managed to pack full of aluminum. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, let's see if that camera will focus in on that. You can see it's just completely full and it would not cut anymore. So this has happened to me a couple times now. Uh, you can take a screwdriver and try and dig all this stuff out of here, but that is going to take forever. So what we do is I figured out how to get that out of there a lot quicker. So put that in there. Lock this thing up. see the camera angle there and you would think that a wire brush or something would work to, to clean that out of there but it does not work out that well I'll go ahead and show you here there's no wire brush you think you'd be able to turn it on and just that out of there However, it does not get them all. You can see it's still pretty covered in there, and pretty coated. So what I want to do is we'll get heat. And basically, this carbide bit is simply designed to take heat. It's designed to deal with heat extremely well. So this is only going to work with the MEP gas. It will not work with the propane as far as I know. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is definitely get you some safety glasses because there's going to be hot aluminum flying around everywhere. And I'm just going to pop that down for right now. Uh, and what I'm going to want to do is start this up. Like so that's going to have that automatic nozzle. And I'm going to want to crank this thing all the way up to its highest setting and give it give it the heat and the heat will melt the aluminum the rotation of 30,000 rpm will make the aluminum fly out of the uh, crevices and you will be good to go so i'm actually gonna put some gloves on for this too because i don't feel like getting burned <laughs> So we can clearly see that the bit has definitely been cleaned out and it is definitely going to work a whole lot better than it was being packed full of aluminum before. And you can see here, let's start this up. didn't overheat so it'll still cut into this uh, you know this is a grade 5 or grade 8 bolt or whatever it is and it's still going to cut into your steel uh, it didn't overheat it and take the tempering out of it um, or take any of the hardness away uh, so that that's definitely a great way to clean out aluminum when you got it stuck in there in these smaller bits 
Uh, usually I try and use the, the bigger bits like these for aluminum because um, the bigger holes it won't pack up quite as quick. But you need map gas and you need safety glasses and you need a vise and you need high RPM and that'll clean it right out of there. For more information, check out the website.